let's do another week of performing performance reviews where i go over the performance of our videos over the last week or two look at the outliers the ones that do really well the ones that do really bad talk to you about the idea behind the youtube algorithm and the constant strategy that i have that's gotten us to 25k subs not bad i didn't realize that we hit 25k subs until recently someone mentioned like congrats and i was like oh cool all I really care about is the monthly viewership on my channel. The sub count, again, is an inflated number that is very... It, it's, it's, it's a poor indicator of how successful a channel is doing. Remember, sub count can be simply dead subs that's been accumulated with viral content based off of, let's say, unrelated videos of like opening reactions or random videos that went viral. Subs don't mean shit. Only thing that matters, monthly viewership. Talking about monthly viewership, it's looking like we are just kind of steady. We're just steady right now, hitting 1.4 mil views roughly for the last 30 days. So I expect just like what happened, you know, in every three month intervals, we get the spike. And I explained to you why this spike seems kind of similar to the past. This, I think I'll have to make a separate video explaining like this curve and what the difference is between this curve. It has to do more with, you know, re-zero and the amount of volume of content I've been pumping out, but pretty respectable, I'd say, for a sub count of our channel, getting 1.4 mil views. I think it's pretty decent. Now, first up, let's go over some uh, videos. I think that like these kind of videos that are hitting roughly like 1.3K after half, like 12 hours ago, it's just average, right? What I care about is like the viewership at like different increments. Well, I care about like viewership after one day. I think viewership after one day is a pretty good indicator. And another one is like a viewership after like a week. So let's look at this assassination classroom. I mean, it's only been one day, so not enough data is probably a queued, but we could still check it out. So let's look at ass class. So community series, right? Ass class right now, we're nearing the end. Um, the thing about ass class and many of these community series that's very long is the initial audience dies down, right? In the beginning, it's always going to do well. And then you kind of are left with the core people that actually want to see the rest of ass class. Let's look at this. I don't think enough data has been, you know, showing anything yet. This, this is kind of what I want to see. But based on this 50-50 split and, you know, this kind of like viewership, which is pretty good, right? Look at this shit. After one day in nine hours, 2.5K is kind of like the upper ceiling. So community series performing uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do retain the audience make the returning audience happy and we're not getting you know carried by trends so it's 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 good enough another thing that's doing pretty well spirit chronicles has been very interesting actually so let's look at uh spirit chronicles i thought that spirit chronicles would fall off in the beginning of course right it's always going to do well it's already been 20 days since we've started Spirit Chronicles. We hit like 671 likes, 6,487 views. Remember, roughly 10% viewership to likes. That's a good indicator to see, is it like tourist or is it your community members? If the like ratio is more around like 5% and lower, then it means that the video is definitely way more wide appealing and a lot more tourists are showing up and they're less likely to, you know, give them likes. But Spirit Chronicles from the beginning has been so dominant. I wouldn't say dominant, but it's been consistent, right? To just come out of the gate swinging like this for a show that's really old, even though season two is airing, you know, it's pretty decent. It's definitely, you know, exceeded my expectations. And I'm surprised that we almost skipped this shit. If you look at the new versus returning audience, you can tell that it's just, you know, return. It's just mostly our, you know, community members, right? 60-40 split. So it's just our boys making the noise. And if you look at the viewership that, you know, uh, then follows, you'll notice that obviously it's going to decline. How much did it decline by? Well, in the beginning, again, it's always gonna be the most. What matters is like episode five, six and onwards. 474, 423, like you get 4445K. Now kind of dropping off into the 3K, you know, break point. Now there's like, you know, this, this is always the, ha uh, you know, the pattern. You can't retain this kind of hype always. It's always gonna die down. And we're kind of at this point of around 2.5 to like 3,000, which is, I think, a very respectable number uh, considering the nature of this kind of show. It's a pretty mid isekai. It's fun, but I also expected it to die off. I, I genuinely expected this show to 
drop off after season one because I thought a lot of people were complaining, but it's looking like it's hanging on pretty well, pretty respectfully. Kind of sad that a show like this also does better in Fate Zero, huh? <laughs> That's actually so depressing that these number of viewership, bro, like th this, this anime is getting more views than Fate Zero, but... That's how YouTube algorithm works, man. Let's look at some other things. Um, this video actually did pretty well. So, let's look at the Sea Dog Iron Mouse quote unquote drama video and look at the like to views. The objective of this video, again, is to be wide appealing. This is not a community video. If it has more views, but you know, 5% like, what does that mean? Tourists, why? Well, it's a wide appealing content right now. A lot of people are talking about this issue, right? Got a lot more subs from it. And this is also good because um, what I'm worried about is with these wide appealing videos is what kind of audience that I'm bringing in. And remember the Asmongold video? Remember the Asmongold video where we kind of popped off getting like 30k views almost? Where is this shit? Let me scroll down a little bit more to find it. Come on, where is it? Not that one, but this one. It's It's got 27k views, right? The, the issue with broad appealing wide videos that does successful is that who are you bringing in and, and does that become dead subs? That's why I mentioned at the beginning of the video, sub count does not mean shit at the end of the day. What matters is what kind of community are you creating? And in terms of this, I think that the nature of VTubing, there are going to be more anime enjoyers. And having, you know, this much people coming, it's it's good. I hope that they are anime enjoyers, though. Let's look at the reach. Most of it from, you know, browse features, because again, it's all through recommendation systems. They're looking at search engines, sorry, search terms such as Kaka TV, my name, Iron Mouse, Iron Mouse Hate, and so on. We look at the audience tab. Hasn't, uh, not enough time has passed for a video of this length to have, you know, have data like this. But if you look at the not sub to sub, it's not as heavily skewed to the not subs as I expected. 60-40 definitely is different from the usual 50-50 split or the 60-40 that we get for sub to not sub. But for to 60% not sub, you know, definitely more non-subs are watching. More new people hopefully are tuning in and, you know, we can try to do something with this video. I understand that the nature of this kind of video, you know, responding to hate and drama and criticism and then talking about how we're gaining from it may seem dystopian. But the point of these videos is to understand, like, what is the purpose of these videos? What kind of audience is coming in? What can you do with that audience, right? That's kind of the idea. So once a week, maybe more than once a week, I, I try to really pump out a couple videos that is more wide appealing so that we can kind of escape this bubble that we're contained in through just grinding community anime reactions. Another video that did pretty well. Well, Blue Lock always does well. Actually, let's look at this one. ReZero Season 3 is the most hated anime of 2024. Makes a lot of sense that this video would do well, right? It's a very catchy title. It's a very hate controversy drama. Always drives clicks. Let's look at how well this one did. And if we look at it, even less likes to amount of views. Let's look at this. Who were watching it? No new subs at all. Almost nothing, right? Watch time is good. The viewership is good. Look at the audience tab. Yeah, more, it's it's definitely more uh, wider audience, right? More wide appealing, less, you know, community members showing up. That's why the like to view ratio is off. If we look at the reach, most likely through just browse features, right? And people just seeking out my, sorry, people just getting, you know, catched on by these, you know, clickable titles. ReZero is the main search term, Kaka TV, blah, 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 sure, sure, sure. And that's pretty much it. Just controversy, drama video, just, just farming, just farming. If you look at the revenue, has it updated? No, it hasn't yet. Uh, next one, I want to check out Blue Lock. Blue Lock, again, it does, it's probably one of the, like, aside from, let's say, ReZero and Dan Dan Dan, I think Blue Lock then takes the crown for highest performing weekly show. Constantly, every new video, we get brand new people coming in, which is always great, right? Even bigger split, not sub to sub. It's actually crazy how Blue Lock, my audience does not give a fuck about it, but... There is an audience out there that is desiring Blue Lock content. I thought it was kind of saturated and that if my community doesn't care, then I would get buried, drowned in the greater scheme. But looking at my content is, you know, appealing to this audience. So good to have Blue Lock do well. My only concern is will these people stick around for other animes other than Blue Lock, right? It's impossible to always assume that 
everyone that's checking out your channel for different trends will stick around. Ideally, around 10% of them will be turned into community members that's willing to watch me for whatever I want, but it's always good to put your bid in and try to do well. Next up, huh? these are all pretty average. Let's look at Ranma. So Ranma, 5k views after three days. That's very good. For me, anyways. I didn't I, I genuinely didn't think Rama would do well. You know why? Because I thought that uh you guys didn't care about Rama when we did this poll, right? Rama was almost tied for last place when we were doing this gauntlet system. And yeah, if Spirit Chronicles wasn't there, who would watch that shit, right? Maybe they would vote for Rama? I don't know. What kind of people are clicking onto the Rama videos? Let's find out. Maybe it's just a bunch of tourists, bro. Maybe it's a bunch of new people checking out Rama. Yeah, and I'm also shocked at how enjoyable it was too. If we look at the like to view ratio, notice how there's 606 likes and 5,000 views roughly, right? We're getting above 10% ratio for view to likes. This is already telling me that it's my audience, but if it's not my audience, it's a bunch of new people that really, really appreciate the content and are giving out likes, which is... Again, like whenever you have high appealing videos and it's not your community, the like ratio drops down to 5%. What's happening with Rama? Holy, look at that shit. The algorithm is definitely testing my content like that, huh? It is. The flux here, you, you see this browse features, that little spikes that it's having. It's, and then look at this, right? Boom, and then there's a little break part. It's it's still kind of getting pushed up. Notice the slope here, right? Look look at the graph. Notice how it's not just this tapering down as you see the gray bar down below. Notice how it went up, continues to go up, and then spikes a little bit. 33 new subs. Watch time was fucking killing it. Look at the revenue. 398 revenue is fucking phenomenal, man. But it, it's also ad revenue. Remember, it's dependent on many different things like demographics, what kind of audience is watching it? How long are they watching it? But also, seasonal things. Right now, it's the end of November and we're going to December. This time period is when advertisers are paying the most, right? We're going to be everybody across the board. It's, it's called a rising tide lift all boats. I have no control over this. It's just advertisers, you know, balling out as they gear for different, you know, um, holidays and different events that encourage spending. So ad revenue, it, it, it's something I can't really control, but uh, good to, you know, just get carried out by during these holiday times. Let's look at the reach. Mostly through browse features, that's right, because YouTube search engine, again, does not fucking matter. If you look at the YouTube search engine, though, remember, I will still show up. Just because I don't have the title in my video doesn't mean it's not going to show up. My descriptions, remember, the descriptions always has this shit, and you can, you know, show up in the search engine like that. If you look at the engagement, yeah, let's look at the uh, very high engagement. People are listening, watching the entire video, which is great. If you look at the audience... Amazing. There is an influx of newer people coming in, and I'm sure as the data will continue to an update, because look at this, right? This is Sunday, November 24th. Today is November 27th. There's three days extra data that hasn't, you know, been populated yet. You look at the not sub to sub, 70-30 split. Look at that shit. How crazy is that? That, again, a 70-30 split, many new people coming in, yet the likes are this high. I have struck, I wouldn't say gold, but in terms of the new people coming in, they heavily align with our content. If they didn't, the views would be up, but the likes wouldn't be as up. So we've knocked it out of the park for Rama. Let's do some glaze and look, read some comments. There is this one comment. Re your reaction to Rama one half has easily been one of the most enjoyable for me on YouTube. Please make more reaction vids to the other episodes too. I love your commentary and engagement wise. Yeah. They're considering, yeah, yeah. Basically, my content is doing well, right? I don't want to say I'm the best reactor. That's the, the, the best reactor, blah, blah, blah. It's all subjective. Entertainment is subjective. But what matters is the audience clicking my videos and watching it, they like it. And as long as they like it, we can continue doing this. So this is, again, it, it's great. It's great. It's, it's, it's performing fantastically. Rama, I'm glad that, you know, this gauntlet system, I'm, I'm glad that I actually gave it a try. Because I genuinely would never have gave it a try. I thought we were just going to do Spirit Chronicles and move on, but 
I don't know. I, I, I was just doing some research, some market research and looking at Rama reaction performance across the board. A lot of reaction channels, they seem to actually do really well, which gave me a cue that there is a wider audience, a market that's been untapped. That is tourist that's, you know, visiting different channels. So I'm putting my bid in and it's doing well. Next up, these videos, bro. The laziest form of content that also gets the most views. Chart videos, baby. Why do you watch this shit? This is so stupid. But people love this shit. Chart videos are always so engaging for the audience. It's, it's just this nature, this format of reading this chart stuff that people really love. It's a digestible format. It's kind of like tier list too, right? People love tier list. People love like top 10 of this, you know? By fact, you missed out on that. There's something about that structure and format that people really, really crave. So not a surprise that videos like this do well. It's been a while since we farmed one of these videos. Um, the reason is because so far we've been just focused so much on ReZero content and everything else around it. And we have just a backlog of chart videos that we can farm that we haven't, you know, tapped into it. So, you know, we'll be back doing that shit very soon. Let's see. Is there anything else? Mm, Railgun. So uh, let's talk about Railgun. I expected Railgun to do better than this. I'm actually kind of surprised at how mediocre Railgun is doing. Because if you look at Index, right? If you look at, let's see, uh, description, Index, right? If you look at Index performance, the first video ever, we got nearly 10K. Yet, why is Railgun not doing well? Well, a lot of people are... Were, here's the thing. It's false expectations, right? Because I thought that Railgun was more sought out than Index due to a vocal minority glazing Railgun. But the parts of Railgun that they glaze is not season one. There is other seasons that people love Railgun for. We're in this content where... This is not the juicy gold mine just yet, right? Exactly. There's the future season two, season three of Railgun where it really impacts them. And right now, it's not that. It's still doing very well, right? Look at the performance. It's still above average. Well above average. Fantastic watch time, fantastic view time. The engagement is very steady. We look at the audience tab. Returning viewers, 50-50 split. It's a community series, right? It makes sense. It's just... I just expected a little bit more love, you know, because here's the thing. It's not as if Index was super hyped up either. Index Season 1, I'm not sure if people really love that shit, but eh, we know it, it's this first couple episodes. I am shocked that Index actually performed this well, man. I am shocked at how well Index performed. Obviously, as the later episodes, it kind of, you know, starts to taper down. But the momentum in the beginning was quite the shock, and it's not the same for Railgun. But uh, we'll hold off on our expectations until, you know, Season 2 and Season 3 for Railgun. Next up. Yeah, just a bunch of mids. Uh, shows like this, right? So, let's look at some poor performing ones, right? Let's let's look at some... Uh, this is bad. What else is really bad? Let's look at... Uh... Oh. Come on. I want to show up. Happened. Go up. There it is. Uh, what I wanted to show you is just kind of like poorer performing shows. So let's look at Loner Life. Let's look at this. These are definitely some struggling shows right now. Let's look at Tower of God as well. More like Tower of fucking Mid. It's just, ugh. These are definitely struggling. Right. Mao 2099, I still want to finish it. It's really, really on the lower end of the spectrum. But the watch time is good. Remember, it's not just about viewership. Because even if the views are low, the watch time can be high performing or at least on average. Because the type of audience watching this love this content and will watch all the way throughout. Right? So it's okay. It's okay. Why the fuck is 509 RPM though? The hell? I mean, $5 off of this shit? Okay. Um, 
This as well, Loner Isekai, right? It's, ugh, I mean, the content itself was pretty mid. The episode, I mean. But the watch time, you know, it's quality audience. And Tower of God? <sighs> we should be dropping it. I should have dropped Tower of God a long time ago. But we're, we're, at the, we're at the finish line. We're at the finish line, right? We're at the finish line and... It's, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna finish it. It's, it's, it's just, poor performing shows like that, the more you focus on it, the worse it is. But we have so many different videos that we're farming that you don't have to worry too much about it. Is there anything else? Oh, these videos actually did really well too, right? Let's look at this one. So, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, this one. So. 304 likes, 5k views. Yeah, these videos always do well. These explanation, it's educational content, right? It's educational content. Watch time is great. Look in the viewership, pretty solid. I think that uh, educational content around anime shit is always appealing. 50-50 split, mostly returning viewers. I do enjoy content like this. It's uh, it's good. Just kind of expands my brain on like, you know, just things to be aware of, of the anime and the studios that we watch. Next up. Anything with Gigguk, right, it pops off. We got this fucking Gigguk video about, you know, meeting a fucking Gigguk chat, whatever author. But this video, I think, is way more interesting. So again, I put my bid out. What the hell is this? God damn it. Probably has to do with the fucking Kumar commentary from Gigguk. But, um, this video. So, look at this. Almost 10k views. 376 likes. Meaning... It's lower than 5% like ratio. Tourist. Wide appealing content. Let's look at this shit, right? Boom. Why is this doing well? Well, it's controversy. It's controversy and drama. And I think that what I have to say, a lot of people think that it's based because I kind of just say it the way it is, right? And people enjoy my commentary and explaining why these monkeys behave like monkeys. Uh, looking at the audience tab, Way more new people coming in. Nice. We always love this. This is always good. 73. It's like a 75 to 25 split almost here. Looking at the revenue. A little bit on the lower side, but, you know, it's new people coming in. It's like a shorter video. Yeah. So, again, my goal with these kind of videos. Remember, there's videos to consolidate into your community, which are always, you know, the community series, right? Videos like... Pure Chronicles or weekly shows that perform as well like that, right? Of course, it's always going to be for the existing audience. But sometimes it's always good to expand your bubble. Try something new. Something trending is happening. There's some drama. There's some news. I cover it. What happens? Sometimes it pops off. And hopefully, you know, a lot of people of that area would enjoy anime reactions. Uh, I don't know. There's Pekora being mentioned. Keso, who knows? But uh, it's good to just put your bit out there. And it's also nice to know that like... My pure commentary, no edits, no nothing. I can just cover some sort of topic, put my thought out there, boom, it gets well received. We get a lot of money, we get more people coming in. It's great. It's great. Next up, anything else I want to talk about? That's pretty much it. A lot of these other videos, you know, were the lower performing videos, you know, it's gonna retain around 1.5k, right? If you this is a really bad video, right? This is like you're, you're after a week, you're still 1,000. What the fuck are you doing? 2.1k, this is kind of just average, right? You want to hit for around that 2 to 3k range after a week. Ideally, that, you know, after just like a day, like look at this, right? After a day, you can hit like that. After a day, you can hit like that. That's kind of the performance that we're looking out for. But that's pretty much it. In this week's performance reviews, I've shown you again just the difference of community series and wide appealing videos and why these wide appealing videos are doing well. You know, the controversy, controversy commentary. What can you do with that? I think the highlight of this week though, other than, you know, these random videos that we farm and go kind of, not viral, but getting more views than average is Ranma. I am so glad that Ranma is doing well. I was worried that Ranma would be a failed project. Looks like a lot of people um, are tuning in for Ranma from beyond my audience, which is always good, right? Consolidating into your existing community is important to create this fan base of loyal people that will watch you for who you are. But, if you're only doing that, eventually that well, that pool of community members is going to die down. You need to also have an influx of people coming in. Have trends like this shit, you try it out, new people show up, but it's not even just new people showing up. It's the well that 
how well it's received despite it's being new people. You saw the like to view ratio on this shit, right? So new people show up. They really heavily fuck with the content. I'm really happy about it. That's pretty much it. See you next time.